Hey everybody, it's Mike and Denise. We're gonna do a new series. We were doing reviews and comments on the plant-based news. Now we're gonna do it on, on articles that I actually put together myself using ChatGTP. Uh, I've got the text of the articles on, on the same YouTube channel posted as a picture with all the text, but we're gonna go through it. We're gonna read it and this is the first one and we'll give our, our comment. So go ahead. The correlation between high BMI and hip, knee and foot injury. Obesity is a major health concern that can lead to a variety of health problems, including joint pain and injury. In this essay, we will explore why a high BMI will likely cause hip, knee, and foot injury with all information sources cited. Firstly, it is important to understand the impact of obesity on bone and joint health. According to the American Academy of Orthopedic surgery. Okay, and let's just comment that obesity is the, the BMI definition of obesity. It's basically anything. It's, you know, there's normal, there's overweight, and then there's obese. And we're talking about anything over the normal range and what that does to your lower body over time. Obesity frequent, frequently contributes to soft tissue damage and hard for me to keep my hand on this article without it looking to the picture. Oh, sorry. And osteoarthritis, which is a progressive wear and tear disease of the joints. I have that in my neck, <laughs> wear and tear on my joints from looking down at computer screens all the time. <laughs> the impact of obesity is especially felt in the osteoarthritis of the hip and knee joints. Every pound of body weight places four to six pounds of pressure on each knee joint. This means that an individual who is overweight or obese is putting significantly more pressure on their joints than someone who is, who is at a healthy weight. Okay, and let's talk about why this is important or how this is important. I've had a lot of people say that they're big boned or they, the BMI doesn't account for them, but it does. The range for normal is a huge range and you got to really look at it for somebody that says, says they're big boned. Usually, even if they say, oh, well, my fat, fat percentage is low, it doesn't matter because this is physics we're talking about here and it's going to cause abnormal wear, usually exponentially more. Plus, including if you're a bodybuilder, this is why bodybuilding is not usually the best thing for you. Strength training, yes keep it strong, keep a basic strength line, but not so you raise your BMI above the normal level. I was overweight as a kid. I was chubby and a lot of my friends would say, you're not fat, you're just big boned. And no, I'm not. Well, most women have a small frame and there's no big boned women that I know. Of. Really? <laughs> there's overweight women. Okay. So having a higher body mass index is associated with the increased presence of leptins in joint fluid which may also promote joint damage. Leptin is a hormone that regulates appetite and metabolism but it can also contribute to inflammation in the body. When there is too much leptin in the joint fluid it can cause inflammation and damage to the joint. I've never even heard of this so this is thanks to chat GTP. <clears throat> GTP. Yeah GTP. GTP? Yeah. When there's too much leptin in the joint fluid, it can cause inflammation and damage to the joint. Furthermore, data from the prospective cohort study in the UK indicate that increasing BMI was associated with an increased relative risk of knee or hip osteoarthritis. Joint injury, obesity, and occupational activity are associated with an increased risk of knee and hip osteoarthritis. Some findings remain inconclusive, including levels of phys physical activity. There are two ways that being overweight raises your risk for developing osteoarthritis. First, excess weight puts additional stress on weight-bearing joints, the knee, for example. Second, Inflammatory factors associated with weight gain might contribute to might contribute to trouble in other joints, for example, the hands. When you walk across level ground, the force on your knees is the equivalent to one and a half times your body weight. This means that a 200 pound man will put 300 pounds of pressure on his knees with each step. 
add an incline and the pressure is even greater. That's why my knees hurt when we hike uphill. Oh, really? <laughs> the force on each knee is two to three times your body weight when you go up and down stairs. Clearly, being overweight increases the load placed on the joints, such as the knee, which increases stress and could possibly hasten the breakdown of cartilage. That's what's happening in my neck. The cartilage is just breaking down. <laughs> Joint pain is strongly associated with body weight. Being only 10 pounds overweight increases the force on the knee by 30 to 60 pounds with each step. Osteoarthritis is the most common joint disorder with symptoms in the hands, knees, hips, back, and neck. It is unclear exactly how excess weight influences osteoarthritis. However, being overweight increases the load placed on the joint, such as the knee, which increases stress and could possibly hasten the breakdown of cartilage. This, it already said that Repeating. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, it's citing this from different sources. So you're getting... Yeah the same information from multiple independent sources and they're all listed there if you go to our YouTube channel. So those sources might have already sourced each other before this uh, program found those articles. In conclusion, a high BMI will likely cause hip, knee, and foot injury due to several factors. Firstly, every pound of body weight for places four to six pounds of pressure on each knee joint. Secondly, having a higher BMI is associated with an increased presence of leptins in the joint fluid, which may promote joint damage. And thirdly, increasing BMI was associated with an increased relative risk of knee or hip osteoarthritis. Fourthly, being overweight increases the stress on weight-bearing joints such as knees, which could hasten cartilage breakdown. Finally, being only 10 pounds overweight increases force on the knees by 30 to 60 pounds with each step. Holy crap. Therefore, <laughs> it is important for inv individuals who are overweight or obese to take steps toward losing weight in order to reduce the risk of developing joint pain or injury. Just 10 pounds is 30 to 60. What's 100 pounds? That's like 300 to 600 pounds of extra force. Well, That's no. crazy. How does anyone carry that around? So one of the sources there, these are three really good sources. One is the NIH, the National Institutes of Health. One was Harvard Health, and another was Hopkins. Hopkins, um, you know, you know, what is it? Hopkins. Johns Hopkins. I don't know if that's affiliated with John Hopkins. Okay. Well, anyway, I think you guys get the idea. So lose weight if you are above normal. That's the bottom line. There are no, I know a few people are below average. That's just as bad uh, if you're below normal. If you're probably, if you're fruitarian. It's bad to be underweight. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, just, just like the normal is too high. It I could be skewed too high just because the average person weighs so much more than they need to weigh. But. Yeah, and the, the people who are, we know who are fruitarians that are underweight, they're only maybe 10% underweight. Okay. <laughs> so if the, the, the they're gonna get less. They're gonna get less. Po less stress on their lower body. That's for sure. Way yeah, less. They'll have a lot less joint pain and inflammation. And it really matters as you age, of course. You know that's when it really matters. So make sure you are normal. That's it. Make sure you're in a normal weight range. Yeah. See you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye.